A rundown home in a Stonington neighborhood has some unwanted guests. Rats invaded the house and now they are visiting the neighbors too. News 8's Tina Detail went to Pock Duck to check out that problem. This house sits at the beginning of the dead end road and one neighbor tells me that when he brings his son to the bus stop or picks him up, they often see rats running from the property. If you're seeing rats during the day, one, it's overpopulation, two, Hopefully it's not their deceased. William Carroll says he and his son are now seeing what he believes are Norway rats on their property at the other end of Milan Terrace. The body is this big with the tail as big as well. He has trapped quite a few. We blurred out this one caught next door. Neighbors want something done about the source of the problem. They say the woman who lives here and is now hospitalized feeds the rats. We found that there is definitely some rat breeding on the inside and potentially on the outside of the, of the property. The Ledgelight Health District issued a public health order and says the owners did bring in a pest control operator. They have been known to carry diseases, and that's why we really want to try to get this from multiple approaches. The town's human services department is looking how to help neighbors. But I just don't have that much scratch, <laughs> especially for rats. And help get this house cleaned up so the rats don't return. It's a delicate area because people have a right to be secure in their home, but if their behavior in their home spreads out and affects the neighborhood, then that's when we have to step in. On Friday, the health district is meeting with residents to talk about what they can do to keep the rats off their property. Things like getting rid of bird feeders, bird baths, trash, and other things that might attract them. And on garbage day, put it out the day of and make sure that bin is closed up tight. In the Pocketuck section of Stonington, Tina Detell, News 8.